Yanni. Hello, Yanni. Hello, hello, Bonnie. Hi. Hello. Hello, Midnight. Hi. Hi, Bonnie. G'day guys, so we're heading over to the Lua now and it's Tuesday, we've got a bit of a mixed size pack, a lot of oodles today and the oodles do love the Lua, even though they're not as fast as the larger dogs with the longer stride and longer legs, uh, but they go for it pretty hard. So I'm really hoping to see some front runners today in uh, Jeffrey, he's pretty good. Um, you know, you got you got the dogs like uh, Hutchie who love it, um, and a couple of little ones that you, you should see towards the front of the pack. Not necessarily an outright pace, but Hutchie's definitely starting to become lure-wise where he anticipates where it's going to be and uh, gets to that point. We've also got Wilson, it's one of his favourite things on the farm. He's a little black spoodle and um, loves to run the lure, so he will definitely be hot on the tail. Um, I'm hoping Sid gets involved today. He does love it, but he can be a little bit uh, hot and cold sometimes. He's one of the faster dogs today, the bigger dog. Um, I expect if he does get involved, he's going to be right up the front there. His favourite trick though is behind the camera. As we're walking it out, he loves to attack the line, chew it, snap it in half. <laughs> so he does cause a lot of stoppage time where we have to tie the line back together. Uh, so that's what we usually watch behind the camera. So he does love it. He enjoys it. He attacks it whether it's going or not. Uh, but yeah, let's see how Tuesday's lure goes today. We've also got Jimmy, who is Jason's dog, Blue Healer. Uh, he's been starting to show a lot of interest in the lure, which is good. He's starting to learn to play the game. So we'll give him a run today and hopefully he gets on it. Uh, also Bailey the Beagle. I'm hoping uh, over the next coming weeks, our new dog Louie behind me, the red border collie. There he is. Hello mate, talking about you. Uh, really hoping he learns to get on the lure. He hasn't quite got the, well it's his second day, so 
He didn't show too much interest in it last week, but as the weeks go on, they see the other dogs really hunt on and uh, and they, they learn the, the game and realise how fun it is. And so um, hoping to see him start to get involved in the coming weeks as well. Well done, Tuesday pack, let's go, eh? Who's gonna get on board? We've got Bridget down here, who is uh, Jeffrey's little sister. And she chases Jeffrey, who chases the lure. So uh, again, we're gonna hope that in the coming week, she deviates her focus from Jeffrey to chase the lure, because she's quite fast. They both are quite fast. But uh, we'll see how we go. Oh yes, Yanni. So I thought I'd just video a little intermission here. As you can see it's all tangled up. The dogs have had a crack at it. We've tried tying it up. <laughs> and it's gone. Bit of bit of visual frustration there in uh, Jason's body language. <laughs> So this is exactly what happens when a dog will chew through it. We're halfway through running it out. We try to tie it on. All the dogs are still excited. They're running around in circles behind you. They just run straight through it, rip it out of your hands. And uh, we basically just have to start again, wind it in, tie a new bag to it and uh, and start again. Hello, buddy. Hello, hey, mate. Good, good boy, buddy. Righto, let's go. So this is what happens regularly. We've got the bag and the line tied here so when the dogs grab it halfway through when it's not running they just chew through that line or like i said before what sid just did before chewed through it halfway behind us couple about 10 meters behind us as we we're running it out so then we try and quickly do a tie then and there and keep going but unfortunately this time it didn't work each time this happens a little bit of line gets lost sometimes a lot of line gets lost if uh you know you're trying to do your knots and you get tangled up yourself it ends up being a bird's nest so you just cut it and start again from what's left and uh, over time you know it starts out as a 500 meter line and uh, once it gets down to about 300 meters or it doesn't do the course that we've set out we just have to rip it all off and get a new bit of string to put on there uh, so we go through it uh, quite a bit maybe uh, once every six weeks we rerun the the line on the spool and at least once a day it gets cut and dogs chew through it so a bit of behind the scenes for the lure run for you um here we go we're up and running we're ready to go good job mate let's try again <laughs> Lunchtime Taco Tuesday. Look at this. Happy days. I'm loving that.
All right, Taco Tuesday. Let's go, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Do you like kitty boy? <laughs> some beef into my tacos, please. <laughs> Wanna try some bio cheese? Oh, Lily tried it. What does Lily think? Lily ate it. Oh, Lily ate it. What about kitty boy? Oh, kitty boy ate it. The bandit sputtered out though. <laughs> Ooh, you wouldn't like the vegan ones, mate. But let me try. <laughs> <laughs> let me try. Ooh. Well, he doesn't oh, he doesn't cheese. mind. Oh, good boy. There you go, good boy, Jimmy. Can <laughs> I see you? Oh, Bailey boy. Oh, yeah, good boy. Good boy, mate. Good boy. Oh, good boy, Bailey. Oh. Oh. Who else wants a cuddle? Who wants cuddles? Oh, Hachi. Hachi. Hello, Hachi boy. Hello, Hachi boy. Oh, bandit. <laughs> Bandit wants a cuddle. Oh, bandit. Oh, Charlie bandit. wants a cuddle. Oh, hello. Charlie wants a cuddle. Oh, oh hello, Russell. Hello, Charlie. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, hello, buddy. Everybody wants a cuddle. Hello. 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 Oh, you want more? Oh, you want more? Oh, you want more? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Bonnie.